two. Hell yeah, werewolf. Thirteen werewolves? Hello. He said it would all be a bad dream. Howdy folks, this is the Command Line Volpine here, and welcome to Let's Play Bloodborne, the long-awaited PS1 remake. Uh, been kind of excited for this. I've never owned a PlayStation. Not a 1, not a 2, not a 3, not an Infinity. None of them. I've always owned a PC. I've owned all the Nintendo consoles, and I've owned a couple of Xboxes. But I've never had a PlayStation. And so, Bloodborne being one of the few exclusive From Software titles... I've never got to play it, but now I finally get to play it in a form, <laughs> the PS1 D-Make form. We'll see. I haven't paid like close attention to like what it does have and what it doesn't have. So we're going to find out ourselves. I am using the controller here because that seems appropriate. I've already lowered the volume off screen. So all CR text. Interesting. Uh, we'll try to play with it on. It does. Looks rough, though. You gotta have at least 30 FPS. Like, I'll be honest with you. I know that even lower FPS might be more true, but I've at least gotta do that if I'm not gonna... If I'm not gonna turn off the, uh... The CRT effects. Alright. Let's jump in. I might have lowered the volume too much. I'll fix the audio after this cutscene. Once we're in gameplay. But you guys might want to see that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to fix the audio. All right, here we are. I had to go back and fix the audio because the audio was too quiet. Well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you need a contract. I bet this playthrough is going to have really large video files because of the CRT effects. Um, when things, I don't know really how to describe it, but when things are kind of like bitrate crunched looking, it makes the file size gigantic in game. So even if the game looks really simple, you'd be surprised. I don't know if we can go lowercase. Okay, quite oh it's automatically doing lowercase I guess you can't make your gamer tag style name okay we'll be having hats most of the time but give me that it's also going to be kind of hard to tell what exactly our hair color is. Uh, it's RGB. That always makes things a little difficult, so I don't know. <laughs> there we go. That makes sense. It's not like we can see the details that well. Let's keep the bandana on. Keep the thing on me. I'm not going to mess with it. Oh, is it a general neutral body? I guess it is. <laughs> Milk toast. Ordinary happy upbringing. All attributes average. Is there basically like a key here? Like then uh, Dark Souls, you have to like you pretty much have to grab the key, or you're kind of playing in hard mode. <laughs> High life. Oh, these are these are the classes for Bloodborne. Okay, I have seen people play Bloodborne, but it's been a very long time. And they probably weren't playing min-max or anything. Not, I'm, I'm, not that I'm going to try to min-max, but... Highly resilient. Is there even spell casting in Bloodborne? I don't think there's spell casting. I don't know why there's arcane. I never paid that much attention, to be honest. Lone Survivor. Just looking for things with like good top stats. Violent past. 
either going to be military vet or like lone survivor or violent past. Gonna do violent past. Be an edge lord. Good. All signed and sealed. Now let's begin the transfusion. Wait a sec. Oh, don't you worry. I didn't read that in the contract. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. Want to reconsider? <laughs> if your doctor ever does evil laughter before putting you under and you know you're in trouble. <laughs> I hear something like crunchy. Hell yeah, werewolf. Thirteen werewolves? Hello. He said it would all be a bad dream. Oh, you're on fire. Brutal. Skeleton hands? Hello. I gotta sneeze. <clears throat> I didn't actually sneeze, <clears throat> but I'll take it. I think you things were creepy in the original, but you do certainly look more creepy in PS1 graphics, I think. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. Ah, it's too loud. I didn't lower sound volume enough. Hold on, hold on. Hopefully we can do it in game. What's our inventory? It's all here. No weapon. I just wanted to see if we could get to our options menu. Item. This says data, but uh, that's just them. <laughs> Audio. I think our sound effects are maybe too high, and that's why uh, that one segment there was really loud. Press X, interact. Oh, that's be shoot. That's gonna be hard because it's not a PlayStation controller, man. It's an Xbox controller. Oh no no no. <laughs> Oh, yeah, use the D-pad for movement. That's insane. Oh, no, I can't, like, use the camera either. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. God, I'm going to have to, like... I'm going to have to print out, like, a, the PS2 controller... I guess a PS1 controller, and uh, like I could remember that X is A, but once I have to remember everything else, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it. So actually, give me a second here. <laughs> All right, I have the cheat seat up on the left side of my monitor, and also I've turned on my uh, my D-pad control so you can see what I'm pressing. I might have to get like an emulator within an emulator so I can use my stick because it's gonna be a little crazy. Especially with a game that's as hard as Bloodborne. It might be easier in the remake here, but we'll see. Seek Palest Blood to Ascend. Man, not being able to <laughs> rotate the camera is a bit insanity, but we'll try to live with it. I can remember X. I can remember X. I told you I've never played or I've never had a PlayStation. I wasn't joking. My cousin had one, and sometimes I play with him, but even then, it was kind of just like relying on him to know what to do. Is that an enemy up there? The fact that it's telling me to do an R1 probably means that uh, there is an enemy up there. I'm just walking back and forth because I can't control the camera. Lock on, release target. 
Where is it, though? I can hear it. Oh, R1 and R2 are rotate camera? Isn't Doesn't R2 do something, though? Yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to beat that with no weapon. I'm going to check this door back here. Locked by the first floor clinic key. Can we backstab? I can't crouch walk. At least it hasn't told us how yet. I don't know if we can roll. It has not told me a roll key. I guess I should have tried the other keys, though. Let's try. The biggest problem is just remembering to use the D-pad, actually. <laughs> oh, maybe I was supposed to die there? If the health was really low, low, so I, th so I thought we might have been able to two-tap it, but that's okay. I think that's basically expected at that part, but I could be wrong. Voices? Like, why was that way louder than everything else? I wanted to lower sound effects too much. I'm still trying to use them. Okay, there's our roll. It's our uh, circle button. People who have actually played Bloodborne probably know that. <laughs> Not being able to use the... Talk to the doll lady that you can't even tell is a doll in, in this month. I guess if it tells you if it's a doll, you'd, you'd know. I'm going to offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand. Employed in beast hunting. Saw, saw cleaver, or threaded cane. A, B, C, D. We want we want the strength scale, so we're gonna use the saw cleaver if you don't mind. Start and down on the D pad. Ah, like that. Okay. Messenger offer you a firearm. Choose one. Firearms are wielded with the left hand and employed in beast hunting. Doesn't matter. It's a matter between a blunderbuss or pistol. by an unknown force. Wrong button. Blood Echo Store, but we've not killed a single thing, so I don't think we're going to be able to do anything there. If it's actually as difficult as actual Bloodborne, but also with the penalties of the difficult controls and graphics, then uh, this might actually be harder than real Bloodborne, but we'll find out. Oh, wouldn't that have been good to know earlier? Okay. Hold manually fire firearm. That was left one. It's still an attack. Oh, is our weapon not equipped? There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, that's hard. It's 
square while well, mine isn't called square, it's X. Precision aiming. Oh, it's a slower. Okay. Well, manual aiming, cancel aim. Okay, makes sense. Just trying to look around. Just trying to look around. <laughs> oh, it's like driving a tank or something, man. Hitting an enemy from behind with a charge attack causes them to stagger. Some weapons don't have charge attack. Shooting your firearm will inter interrupt and stagger an enemy when properly aimed to their... Wait, what? Attack. Okay. When the next uh, staggered enemy, visceral attack. After taking damage from an enemy, there's a period of time in which attacking the enemy will return a certain amount of your HP. Oh, yeah. That was the thing with blood. Blood. Okay, send me, I guess. How do we get to take on the werewolf, but for real this time? Okay. Still don't know if we can stealth walk. It didn't give us... We didn't see a message for that. Maybe there will... Maybe it wasn't in the door. I could have, could have swore I've seen people stock things, though, in Bloodborne. Start and then down. Equip consumables. Triangle is up to use a consumable. Okay. Okay. Ladder. Playing ladders in old video games was not ever easy though. Like this is too easy for uh, an old video game. If it was trying to emulate one, they never worked. Oh, that would have been... That would have been good to know a long time ago. Actually, I might have been able to beat the... What is that? Is that like a broken chandelier? It's kind of... Kind of hard to tell. It might be like people who've seen enough Bloodborne probably know better. Ah, uh, that's why it was telling me about this. to equip a key. Oh yeah, blood vials in this game. They they max out at like 20, but they don't get like you don't unlock more, right? He's there. It's not in like a quick slot spot. <laughs> I wonder what I what I could use to remap my keys. Jeez. 
it's just... <laughs> I mean, old games were clunky, so it's like, it's it's accurate. Like, I can't blame it for being accurate. PS1 had a single stick, right? So it couldn't do this, the dual stick stuff. We have the first floor kind of key. Oh, like this. Hearing. Is this how regular Bloodborne does it? Where you have to equip keys? Surely not. Ah, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. I was hoping it wouldn't let me heal because I was maxed out. I don't remember what it said to press to cycle items. No cheats. Cycle items. I have to go up there and read the dang thing. Let me pause the video. Okay, so it said the select key, which this controller doesn't have a select, but I'm going to hope that it's this. Okay, it's that. But also I saw a hole over here. Kind of see into that room. See blood in there. I gotta know. In regular Bloodborne, do you have to? There's no way. I had to walk slowly so I can try to sneak up. Bullet transfuser. Hunter's tool that trades health for bullets. A hunter can employ this tool during the hunt to transfer their own blood into equipped firearms where it solidifies into blood bullets, the product of a hunter's fearless resolve. So I have to equip that. Yes. So here's the big question. In Bloodborne, I think all the items that we've gathered would stay on us. But in a PS1 game, they would not stay on us until we save. But if we save, then the werewolf comes back. Yada yada. Okay, I know that's there, but I also saw a door up here, so I want to take a look. So about out of time for the video. Just says locked, but it doesn't say by this key, so I'm going to assume that this key doesn't work. Also, I don't know if there's a way we can fast drop, but these buttons don't work. So, I am going to go ahead and save it, because I do... Or I guess, I don't know, what you would consider sitting down at the campfire in a Bloodborne... Or a, a, Blood Souls Sekiro like game, if it counts as a. Uh... Level 10. Sheesh. Okay, well. Let's check at least if the werewolf came back. Oh. Alright. Well, we are all out of time. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, hope you have a good day.